Okay. I don't know if this lighting is good or not, but whatever. So we were cleaning our room and I found my memory box. Basically, if you don't know what a memory box is, it's just a box and you just put things that are like memorable to you, I guess. You put like, like birthday cards, wristbands, like if you go to a concert or something, stuff like that. I started mine when I was in 6th grade or 5th grade, something I'm so grateful to have. So I have this big old box, it used to be smaller, and this stuff don't even fit in there. And I also have a few things apart from that. Yeah, let's go through it. Start with my box. I have a whole bunch of random things, some things don't even make sense, but I just decided to put them in here. But Okay, it is packed. I'm going to like take out a couple of things. First of all, I have this Minnie Mouse wallet that my aunt gave us. I think we were in the third grade, somewhere around there. I don't know. I've had it ever since, and it's so cute. And then one of the more recent, I have my phone case that was from my other phone, and it's signed by Robbie Shapiro, the guy from Victoria's, Matt Bennett. I know he's probably like not that famous, but. You know, I grew up watching that show, so I put the date and where. I also have Universal badges from when we went for grad night when I graduated, class of 2021. I took my whole family because they all wanted to go. The next thing I have in there is this little gum case. So the first thing we have is my French club card. I was in French club for like one year at my high school. And then I also have this um, Disneyland ticket for the one day it was the first time we went to disney in 2019 in february the boomers vip pass when one of my friends won like the fundraising thing and she could take like two other friends to go with her in a limo it was pretty cool okay, and then i have some movie tickets let's see which ones we have i have two tickets for the minions movie that came out this year and we have despicable me 3 when did this come out 2017 oh my god and then i have one for the emoji movie 2017 47 meters down 2017 dang we went a lot to the movies 2017 beauty and the beast 2017 and then i also have some polaroid i'm not gonna show this one i don't even talk to this girl this is was part of my squad in middle school very middle school obviously you can see my dad and my mom and my eighth grade is a graduation or promotion promotion Promotion. This is the most recent Polaroid I have, which is Beach Day. My sister and one of our friends have my lock for my locker room in high school. Let's see if I remember my lock combination. I think I have to go right three times. Hey, I still remember it. And then we have some ornaments. This little snowflake with my picture in it. Another one with Santa Claus with me being the gingerbread and then i have these two little things from sixth grade obviously our iconic little name tag whoa it's backwards i have to make these little triangle and then she made it into like a little banner thing basically i put my last name my number i don't know why i put ll uci and then an american flag which is funny because i'm not even american and then i have my graduation tickets why are they so big for i don't know literally like no. oh my gosh this is probably one of the best gifts has ever been given to me. This little picture. Okay, the picture is not it. I don't know why they chose this picture, but it's a little Spotify thing. And it was when I was like obsessed with Miraculous. That is so dumb. Oh my gosh. But I still like it. It's so cute. And then I do have the little stands here as well. Shout out to Judan for getting it for me. I also have a couple of Chuck E. Cheese pictures. I'm only going to show two. I have this one of my siblings and I. This was in 2018, and then I have this one when we were way younger, my sister and I and my mom, in 2008. I also have our recital and papers from when we were in dance, as well as a little sticker that I took that says, I love dancing at VIP Dance Studio. I have a couple of like toys in here, kind of give me like a little bit of nostalgia when I was younger. So the first, these little water toys. You try to get the rings inside of these little things. I always used to get these like at parties and stuff. They don't really give these things out anymore. And then I have a little box. This box is very special to me because in sixth grade, we did Secret Santa and my friend actually got me. She gave me my little present in this box. And it still says from your Secret Santa. I mean, it's a little like faded. They gave me a little beanie boo, but we were taking care of my friend's dog and he chewed it up. 
so I had to throw it away. But I do still have the Shopkins thing, and the Shopkins that I got are right here. I was in my little Shopkins area, and I just have a whole bunch of Shopkins. I also do have fidget spinners, fidget spinner era, and then I have Valentine's Day little goodies. This one, my neighbor just gave it to me just because she didn't want it, and I felt a little special because I never get anything for Valentine's. Then in 2020, we had a little like party with our friends. But it doesn't turn on anymore. This year we had a little Galentine's and we had these little headbands. I had a black one too, I think. And I also have a little COVID era mask. This one I got from AP Stats class. And this one for my graduation one. And tell me why I have some 3D glasses. Oh, and then I have this little, um, what are these called? Uh, it's what goes on your little cap. When you graduate in this little box i have a bunch of jewelry so i have this medal that i got in 2014 for english i have this little dog tag that we got when we went to our first camp because i had to do something with the theme we have a little choker i never wore it but i just had this necklace this necklace has gone through a lot okay this was gonna be for one of my best friends in elementary but then i gave it to one of the twins and i remember she took it out and she's like i don't want to be a bad half anymore she took it out and threw it on the floor you remember that oh, draw. yeah yeah she did that so then i grabbed it and i gave it to my best friend that i was gonna originally give it to no not this one am i dumb it's the other one but i had the pink one and i think the other one was like blue or something and then another graduation thing it was like in the little like Annual thing and i also have this little like baggy with a bunch of photo booth things and then a bunch of stickers this was from a wedding that we went to so we have a couple of pictures here these that we took when we went bowling and then another one we went to like a little festival for it. a mental health these three are definitely my top favorite a bunch of them and they're all so cute i love them so I have my IDs from school, which I'm not going to show because they're embarrassing. Last year, I had the most beautiful wrapping ever, and I decided to save it. And this is the wrapping. It's very much like ballerina and a cracker. And I have a bunch of like wristbands and stuff. I have a grave of flage one, the two times that we've gone. And then I have this little VIP thing we went to. If you were in Musical.ly, you would know this girl named Ona. Haley, she had a birthday bash, and I went to that. It was in 2018, I believe. This wristband is from the first youth conference I've ever been to. This yellow one was from my eighth grade dance. And then the House of Blue when I went to the I party. And then I have another conference wristband in 2018. And another conference wristband from 2017. So a camp wristband. I have two Red Ribbon Week wristbands. The little rainbow loom bracelet. This bracelet that I wore to my sixth grade dance. Oh, and then I have a hospital wristband when I went because I was struggling with anxiety, whatever. I thought I was dying, basically, I wasn't. So, I was in the hospital for like what, like four hours. I just found this little thing um, of the game MASH. So, I would marry and have two kids. We will live in an apartment. We would have a French bulldog. I will drive a Range Rover and my job would be a model. And then here's a poem that I wrote for my Spanish class. El nombre maravilloso. It's supposed to be a poem about our name. I got a three on it because I suck at poems. Oh my gosh. The solar eclipse glasses. I kept these. How iconic. Let's just put that away. I have my little detention slips for when I was in sixth grade. And then I also have a Christmas card that one of my friends got me. Whenever my family sends us like things from Mexico, they sent it like in these little packages. So this is what they say. Another Christmas gift that someone gave me and another one. And then I also have a bunch of these things. I have the Disneyland ones. These are from this year. This one is from when we went in 2019. I also have a Six Flags one from when we went like years ago. We go to conference as well. We have itineraries. This one, this is from when I went to a Holocaust Museum in LA. It's something that definitely like hit me the most out of all the things I learned in history. But there was like a little machine where it gives you a person um, that was in the Holocaust and then it tells you a little bit of their story and it tells you um, whether they survived or not, I got Edzia, I believe. She was actually a child. She was from Lodz, Poland. This is her. 
So obviously I was, I'm gonna keep this and cherish it, you know. Um, I've been to two in LA, one of them was free. I'm, I don't think the other one was. And this was the Museum of Tolerance right here. And then this is the hours and stuff. I have a bunch of pictures. So let's just go through it real quick. Photo shoot that we had. My sister and I, Mexico. A little play that we did for New Year's in 2016 with our church. A conference we went to in and out. Eighth grade dance. We went to Harvest in the Angel Stadium. When I had to open the service. The Christmas um, dinner at church. Sixth grade photo, Kevin and I. Kevin and I at my graduation. I remember Nicole and I used to go in the library in middle school in the morning. And I would like print out the cringiest things, bro. And my daily bumps era, just a beaver. My dance mom, this little Starbucks thing. Bertaley, fifth heart mini, hashtag miss. Oh my gosh. So right here I put things I'm thankful for. And then this crossed out was my crush's name, which was John. <laughs> you can see the back. Then I have Bertaley Gymnastics. Family, friends, and YouTube. Preschool, they made us a little photo album thing. That was September 2007, October 2007. And then my dad and I in 2008. Then us running. And I have a little birth certificate for my Build-A-Bear. The birth of Daisy was May 3rd, 2009. Oh so yeah, the birth certificate. I think I still have one. And then I have a sixth grade yearbook. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> I love sixth grade. All my signatures in the back. My middle school one cannot relate. There you go. And then I have my middle school one. A couple of signatures. Um, right there. We had to like bake or cook something for sixth grade and we made it into a little like recipe book. Oh, I see myself. Ah, this is moi. Look at me. Some blue cupcakes that I made. I have Nicole's birthday card. It says Queen of Sass. Do you want it? I don't know why I have it. Oh, I have more in here. I have my friend's skins in. So I have this thing that my mom gave me when I promoted from sixth grade. This is not mine. This is actually Nicole's. This one is also Nicole's. This Sally? one is mine. Who gave me this? <gasps> Wait. It says, Thanks for being my best friend. I hope we continue to be the baddest. Uh, we also have each other's back, so we are amazing best friends. I hope we are still best friends so we can go to clubs and party. For right now, we need to stick around to have this moment. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! I don't remember her giving me that! Also in 6th grade, we used to do a person of the week type thing. So what you would have to do is like, you would have to fill this out. So I put my full name. I didn't even put my full name. I just put what they on his. I uh, swear I didn't know about my middle name until like middle school probably. The pets that I wanted, a Yorkie, I put a old dog. My favorite food is Mexican food. I like to do sports because I get to have fun. I am really good at gymnastics because I practice every day. My favorite book is Dork Diaries. Dork Diaries were the best. My favorite game is gymnastics because I like doing flexible tricks. The college I would like to go to is UCLA because I heard it's a great college. Um, when I grow up, I would like to be a doctor because I like to help people who are sick and that is a lie. I never really knew what I wanted to be, so. And then, after you like present it to the whole class, they get to like put the name of the person so valeria is distinctive because and then you write down what you heard let me read a couple of them it's from brianna she said i think you're cool because you're flexible and you can hang on the monkey bars you're also cool because you can do a lot of cool tricks i was literally known as like the girl that does gymnastics slash tricks everyone wanted me to teach them tricks girl another person she likes and she's good at gymnastics she is very funny. She does pranks and she is very flexible. She is a great person. By Qua. And then Damien, who was my partner, he said she is a very, very nice, kind of. Dang! He put kind of. But is she lying though? And it's also funny. And she is a very nice partner. We have Anjali. She said, Valeria is a good friend to me because she taught me how to do tricks like back bends and handstands and land on a bridge. And because of her help, now I'm good at gymnastics and now I'm very happy. I'm glad I helped you, Angelique. This is a girl named Stephanie. She's put, you are flexible. Lots of people are not flexible and I am one of them. I remember when I sat next to you and we would talk most of the time. Bro, I literally liked to everyone saying that I was in gymnastics when I wasn't in gymnastics. I just self-taught myself like the acro part, but I never did bars. I never did being nothing. So, I apologize for lying. <laughs> this one is from Seriana. She put, she is very funny. She is also a very great gymnast because I've seen her do gymnastics. 
And then she put what's the number for 911. And then this is Granny Victoria, she wrote, she is like the only person who likes gymnastics, I think. I've seen her do gymnastics and she's also very flexible. She helps my Linda do the bridge. I hope she makes it to the ceiling. Oh, this is guy named Daniel. He put, she's very good at math and reading. She's very funny and flexible, blah, 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 blah. And then lastly, he put, and she makes me laugh a lot. There's this girl named Elizabeth. She put, she's really nice and fun because she taught me a lot of flexible things. And I thought I wouldn't get along with you, but I did. And thank you for teaching me a lot of things. And I want to thank you for being a weird, funny. <coughs> There's this other guy that wrote, she is energetic and like dogs. The layer is cool because she. Valeria is awesome because she is great at gymnastics. She also is very smart. Valeria is a friend you want to meet. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and then this is one of my best friends, Judith. Um, she wrote, she is my friend, so I think she's pretty awesome. And she might go to UCLA, and since I want to go there, we could meet. She's funny, she makes lots of jokes, and she has a great personality. Valeria is very cool in gymnastics, and she could do the splits. Just the great friend. Overall, Valeria is the best friend I could ever ask for in the whole world. How cute is that? And she put thank you. She wrote, she's also very good at gymnastics. She practices every day. She and her friends go on the other side of the field and do gymnastics. She's pretty funny too, but also sometimes girls. So she's a pretty nice person. Okay, so Sabrina wrote, she is a friend of mine. You are really cool and lucky to be in gymnastics. I was not in gymnastics. Valera, you are a very special friend. I hope I see you next year. But yeah, and then here's the cover. I got to design this. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole memory box slash other stuff. I highly recommend to make a memory box if you haven't yet. I always love going back and like seeing all the things that I have in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah.